Hey, what's my fellow prodigies? Prodigy here, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to cut the size of your video by up to 90% using this program called Handbrake, which is kind of known by a lot of people. But this video is gonna be for those who never heard this program before, and for those who want to decrease the size of your videos. Now, before we get into today's video, be sure to drop a like, I would appreciate that, and go follow me on Twitter because I do like to tweet out daily. Also, guys, comment down below how large your video files are because I know not everyone's gonna have the same video size, so leave your comments down below because I do want to hear what you guys have to say, and because I do read all my comments, and guys, let's see if we can three likes in today's video and without further ado let's get into today's video now if you go to the link down below you'll be led to a website called handbrake.fr and here you're going to download and install a program and if you don't know what handbrake is basically it's a program where you can convert videos to different formats and compress videos into like smaller file sizes now for today i'm going to be converting my gta 5 gameplay into a smaller file size from 678 megabytes which depending on your pc that can be converted as low as 100 megabytes but to follow along just choose any large video file on your computer and drag it onto your desktop and after choosing the video file that you want converted, open up Handbrake and once Handbrake is open, the first thing that you want to do is click on source and right here, you're going to be selecting the video that you want to have converted, which for me is on my desktop and just click OK when done. And for the file destination, just choose any spot that you want it to be downloaded and name it anything. Moving on to the settings of this, click on Web Optimize make sure that your dimensions match the size of your video. For me, I'm converting a 720p video so I have my dimensions at 1280 by 720 and don't change anything for filters. Now for the video tab, say your codec as 264 and for the frame rate, you might be surprised but you can change the frame rate of the converted video to be higher than the original one. For example, my video was 30 FPS, I could convert that to 60 FPS. So that's one of the cool features that I like about this program but after you chose your frame rate, make sure you select a constant frame rate so your video stays smooth. Now for the quality of the video, since we're doing a video that's in HD, they recommend that you have your value from 20 to 23 but if you want, you could change your quality to a higher number like 25 because the higher the number value, the smaller the video size will be while at the same time the lower the video quality will be but for this video i'll be using a value of 22. and right here put your settings like mine and select the advanced tab option so you can use the advanced option feature and if the advanced tab doesn't show up go to tools then options and when you're on this page select this option to show the advanced tab then click close Moving on to audio, make sure you change the mix down to stereo, otherwise your audio will sound choppy and it will lose quality, so make sure you do that. Then for the final setting change, go to the advanced tab and change your reference frames to 4. And once you do that, you're basically done with the settings, so just click start and your video will start compressing. Now, just for a heads up, depending on your PC, this process, it can take from half an hour to even more than 2 hours. So if you have like a kind of slow computer like me, I suggest lowering down your settings down a bit. Because you can see right now, my compression is going to take a long time to finish, so I'll skip this part for you guys. Now that this is done, we're going to be doing a comparison between the original video to the converted one. Now as you can see right here, our original video size was 678 megabytes, but if we move on over to the converted video, the video size is 250 megabytes, which is more than half of the original video size. Now sure, that's a good thing to reduce the video size, but you might be wondering on how the quality looks. Well, if you look at the comparison of the graphics, you might see tiny differences when the gameplay is slow, but if you pay attention more, but if you're converting a fast paced gameplay, there's literally no difference at all in the quality, and I do recommend that before you upload a video to YouTube, that you convert your video so when you upload a video, it'll upload faster and it'll take less space on your computer. But in the end guys, you have the ability to convert videos to different formats, compress videos for a smaller file size, and even convert 30 FPS videos to 60 FPS with no lag at all. And that pretty much wraps it up, now hope you guys enjoyed the video because if you couldn't tell already, I'm kinda sick at the moment, but if you guys can, drop a like, I would appreciate that, and it does show that you guys want me to make more videos like this. Also go follow me on Twitter because I do like to tweet out daily. Also, if you guys can, comment down below what your original video size was before and after using Handbrake because I'm interested in hearing what you guys have to say because I know not everyone's going to have like the same file size difference with their videos and because I do read all my comments. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching and let's see if we hit 30 likes on today's video. Now subscribe for more content in the future and I'll see you guys in the next one.